So after having disappeared for nearly a week, Joe Biden has risen from the dead to go on a media press tour. It did not go well for Joe Biden. This entire media press tour that he went on was an epic failure. It was embarrassing. It was cringeworthy. And, well, just take a look. Not, though. I, yeah. I have not talked to any individual. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, you're supposed to cough into your elbow. I don't know, sir. That's, I learned that actually covering your White House. That's, that you no, did, a, actually, <laughs> actually, that's true. But fortunately, I'm alone in my home. But that's OK. All right. I, I agree. You're right. You should just it's, just it's kind of old school to do it with your hand. Do it into your elbow. You're supposed to do it. Um, this is Sarah Haynes. In Hot Topics, we yes, talked sir. about Trump saying the government would reassess the recommended period for keeping businesses shut and people at home. Are you at all concerned, as Trump said, that we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself? We have to take care of the cure. That will make the problem worse no matter what. No matter that. Why doesn't mm -hmm. he just act like a president? That's a stupid way to say you it. You know, guess, Donald Trump really was asked on... He... Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I probably best I don't. I just, I just can't figure the guy. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's like watching a yo-yo. I shouldn't have said it that way. It's like watching... It feels that way. <laughs> I want to ask... <laughs> I want to... <laughs> It's okay. I want to I want to ask you. We have never, never, never failed to respond to a crisis as a people. And I tell you what, I'm so darn proud. And those poor people who have lost, you know, anyway. Joe, 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 Joe. Where do we even start with this? Let's start from the top. So Joe Biden there with Jake Tapper. When Joe Biden is scolded by Jake Tapper for coughing directly into his hands, despite CDC guidelines telling you not to do that. I feel like this is the Democratic equivalent of when Donald Trump was looking directly at the sun during an eclipse, despite scientists' warnings not to look directly into the sun during an eclipse. Here's Joe Biden coughing directly into his hands during a pandemic, despite scientists' warning not to do that. So this was pretty cringeworthy to see Joe Biden do that and also try to play it off by saying, there's no one in my house. Your germs are still getting on your hands and every single thing that you touch. And by the way, I'm sure that there's a camera crew in that room with you. So that seems to be a flat out lie for no reason at all. Next, we have Joe Biden on The View when The View host asks Joe Biden, how he responds to Donald Trump saying that the cure can't be worse than the problem. And then Joe Biden says something along the lines of the cure is going to make the problem worse no matter what. What, what was he saying there? That made absolutely no sense. Zero sense at all. It may, you know, if it could make negative sense, that's probably how much sense it made because that made Nothing. In fact, we got dumber just for hearing Joe Biden say this thing that made no sense at all. So why is it that the view host is not <laughs> listening to Joe Biden say that and saying, excuse me, can you rephrase that? Or what exactly do you mean? Because if someone said that to me in a conversation, I would say, I have no clue what you were talking about. Next up, we have Joe Biden on MSNBC when Joe Biden says something along the lines of Donald Trump uh, is not fit to be a president or isn't acting like a president should. And then he goes on to scold himself for saying that. Then he compares the Donald Trump presidency to a yo-yo, once again scolding himself for saying that. And then throw in some awkward pauses between him and the interviewer there. Joe Biden is scolding himself and pulling punches against Donald Trump. Keep in mind, this is the same Donald Trump that brought Bill Clinton's accusers to the debate with Hillary Clinton. Do you think that guy is going to pull any punches against you? Don't scold yourself for critiquing Donald Trump's presidency. No, don't do that. 
And lastly, we have Donald Trump later on in the same interview, and he says, uh, you know, nothing at all. In fact, he stops mid-sentence because it seemed like he didn't know where he was going with that. It didn't seem like he had an end to mind in that sentence. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Michael Scott quote where he starts off a sentence and doesn't know where the sentence is going to end off. That was perfectly what happened with Joe Biden. That describes it perfectly. What is going on in Joe Biden's brain here? I think the worst part about all of those interviews is that the hosts kind of, well, at least in the MSNBC host's case, she's just smiling along. She's just nodding, smiling. <laughs> all of these interviewers are holding Joe Biden's hands throughout the duration of the interview. When it comes to facing Donald Trump, He's not going to hold your hand. The media may hold his hand, but Donald Trump will pulverize Joe Biden. And that's just a fact. I'm calling it right now. Look at this video in a few months. If it turns out that for some reason, Joe Biden is still in the race. And for some reason, Joe Biden's facing off against Donald Trump. Donald Trump will destroy Joe Biden. And sometimes it feels like you're screaming to the void when you tell people this. But it's just a fact. And we have to keep fighting against media uh, narratives, media bias. And we also have to fight the Republicans because they're spreading lies and fake news out there too. It's just an all-out war in politics right now. So you want to be on the winning side. You want to be on the right side. Subscribe to support independent progressive media. We're trying to have a political revolution here. And we need all the grassroots support that we can have. Because this election cycle, in 2024, we need to have an army of grassroots supporters. Leave a comment on your thoughts of Joe Biden's epic failure of a media press tour. And we'll see you next time.